In today's digital age, I'm convinced that quantitative asset management will be superior to investment decision making made by humans. Making sense of the vast amount of data that spreads like wildfire um, across the continents is a daunting task for any human being. Historically, for us, um, systematic investment uh, means uh, trend following, which is at our core. That means, uh, historically, uh, that you trade uh, binary signals, basically on, for example, breakouts of prices. Nowadays, however, we have a much more sophisticated mathematical approach, which entails basically finding reduced representations of the markets, cleaning them for noise, and then trying to leverage our own engineering skills, like in designing filters and uh, relations between the things that we expect. When we started Lynx in 1999, we wanted to create a, a fund uh, that could help our clients to diversify and help them to make some returns in difficult market environments where they struggled in, in bonds and stocks. And also, as a second goal, we wanted to make an investment process that was based on maths and, and statistics and science and try to minimize the impact of, of decisions from humans like the portfolio managers. If you look at our client base, it's mostly professional institutions, large institutions that use us as a building block in their portfolios. And they want us to deliver in line uh, and have the same care of characteristics as we have delivered before. So uh, within those limits, though, we can, you know, change and adapt and, and be innovative. And over time, step by step, we will uh, improve the program. Lynx is a specialist in, in developing and running systematic investment strategies. At Lynx, we see a lot of uh, uh, great drive and curiosity and a lot of commitment, because for us, this is not just asset management. It's not just a bag of money that we are managing, it's, it's someone's pension, someone's life savings, someone's uh, financial stability and, and, and freedom. We trade on markets across the globe and we also have investors on almost every continent. So this, for us, it's important to have the practical know-how of how to, to deliver these uh, yeah, strategies to our different clients. To succeed with what we are set out to do, you need to have very strong competence and talent across a number of different domains. And for the investment side of things, the key functions that we need to, to have strong expertise in would be mathematical and, and statistical analysis, finance, of course, uh, trading and finance, uh, data engineering and data um, science, and system development. Our two-decade investment in the firm has really focused on attracting talents with diverse perspectives. Systematic investment strategies are developed by our research department. The process is highly collaborative. We have peer reviews uh, before backtesting and before we allocate any risk to them in the portfolios. When building models, you need to look at the market and the financial data from a data scientist point of view, right? So what that means is that you need to take into account that market data is very noisy. It means that there's a lot of irrelevant, non-meaningful information in there. So in other industries, uh, you can have machine learning models or, or models that have very, very high accuracy, prediction accuracy. But in our case, in financial data, it's like 52% is very good. Like from the outside, it may be hard to understand what our models do exactly. But from the inside, since we build them ground up and test them rigorously, so it's not really a black box for us to see what they do. But of course, it's hard to visualize for the human mind to visualize those types of uh, multidimensional problems that they try to solve. But for us, we do our best to be transparent on what our models do and why they do it and how they work. And they're also tested in a way and also tested every day to make sure that they actually do what they're supposed to do. I 
I think keeping to, to kind of the core values and what we started uh, back in the days uh, and, and keep that, that investment process as uh, intact as possible, that has helped us a lot to, to be where we are today. If you compare Lynx today uh, with where we were when we started uh, 24 years ago, there is a huge difference. I mean, we started as a very small company with limited resources. And nowadays we are a large company. We are one of the leading firms in, in our industry. For me, the most important determinant of success is the acknowledgement of improvements and the willingness to engage with it. And I see that daily here at Lynx. We um, continuously follow up both the algorithms and the models on a daily, weekly, monthly, semi-annual basis. And that continued willingness to always improve and stay at the forefront of innovation is, for me, how Lynx is so successful.